Hello, hello, hello people. And today I have some coins from a small place. So a small place that a lot of people have heard of, but they've probably never visited. So today these coins are from the Vatican City. And these are Italian Lira series. So let's see if we can get better light on that. Does that look a bit better? You can see that better? I can. Anyway, so before the Vatican City actually joined uh, the Euro, they issued coins that were equivalent to the Italian Lira. So here I have some coins from 1 Lira to uh, 100 Lira. So here's some Italian coins as well. And here's the 1 Lira coin. Corresponds to the Italian 1 Lira. And the 100 Lira, if I can get one. Ah, the 100 Lira coin of Italy corresponds to the Vatican 100 Lira. And basically... Uh, the Italian lira was legal tender in the Vatican, and these coins from the Vatican can be spent in Italy. So we have various commemorative coins. So here we have the coat of arms of Paul the Sixth or Paulus, and these are in Latin. And we have the date in here. So that's one thousand nineteen. 50, 70, so 1978. And every year, the Vatican City actually changed their coins. Now the Italian, uh, the Vatican Lira coins are actually not rare. They're actually quite common. Uh, a lot of the Euro coins are actually a bit rarer. So these are, you can quite easily get them in um, on eBay and in uncirculated sets. And with each new Pope, the coat of arms is changed. So this is actually the background here, the cap and the two keys, is actually the Vatican coat of arms. And this is the coat of arms of the Pope. So that's why if I show you ooh, this two lira, we have the coat of arms as well. Let me see if I can get it down a bit more. So... And can, do I have a bigger coat of arms of? Yes, I do. So there is this coat of arms. So this is uh, Pius the Twelfth. That one is Paulus the Sixth. And as you can see, this one has this central coat of arms that is different than this one. And. Actually, I think I might try and get some coins of all different coats of arms of the Vatican as well as the Papal States because the Papal States is a former uh, territory of the Vatican which uh, ceased to be in uh, 1860, 1870. So what are actually on these coins? So on this one, we have a... Ooh, we have feathers. This one's, what date did I say? 1878. So, it has a mintage of uh, 132,000, which is uh, quite high, uh, considering that the Vatican only has a population of 1,000 people, probably even less than that. And these were only produced into 1977. Uh, the... 1, 2, and 5, and after that day, they weren't actually produced. Um, but the 10 to 1,000 lira were produced, well, up until 2,000. And here we have the 2 lira, and the, this uh, had a mintage of 150,000. What date is it? It's on the back. Uh, 1976. So you know these are the 70s. So that's 1976, small aluminium coin. 
he is a five lira from 1951 as you can see as a just a western date and it has justice with a sword and scale so justice that would be more like the pagan roman type um, iconography not really a christian it probably would have been adopted by the christians as a justice it looks like liberty actually and on the back we have a uh, Pius the Twelve. So sometimes they do put the images on it. Sometimes they put the coat of arms, depending on uh, who was actually designing the coin. And this coin has a mintage of one and a half million, which is quite high, considering it's uh, in the earliest stages of the five lira coin. And then we have a another one from. It, it has uh, a bird. Looks like a uh, pelican, and on the back, 1976 again. And this one has a mintage of 150,000. So only 10% of the 1951 issue. And then we have the 10 lira. So I don't know if the 10 lira from the 70s. So during the 50s, they actually issued. Um, Lira coins with uh, re not religious justice motives. What do they call it? Uh, seven virtues of Christian ethics, and here I have two. So this is Provencia. Um, uh, self by use of reason, so reasoning, and on the back we just have. Pius the seventh again, and as you can see, he's actually facing the opposite way. So this is pretty normal. Um, only ten denominations as well. That the different denominations, the king or in this case the pope, is facing the opposite way. So here I have a Italian fifty. Okay, I've got fifty centimeters and. One lira. These are issued before World War Two. So, as you can see, the king is actually facing the opposite directions on these denominations. And if I put a ten centimeters, okay. So here's a ten. So he's facing the opposite way again. And here is a five. And he's also he's facing that way. So it doesn't always work out, but generally that's how Italian coins usually go. So get rid of those ones. And yes, the Vatican City, I believe they started issuing coins in 1928. And they did issue uh, their centimeters coins as well. Okay, so what were we up to? D5. So we've done the 10, and then we have the 20. So this is a 1970s issue. It has a red deer. Um, I don't have the mintage figures of these ones. And these 70s issue were designed by Thomas Gizmoldi. Uh, the Seven Virtues of Christian Ethics was uh, designed by Pietro Giampaoli. So these are Italian designers, and most of these coins are actually designed by these two. There is some other coins, uh, the 100s issued in the 80s, issued by Gordo Veroy, and that includes coins like this one here. So the 50 lira, this one has olives. There's a mintage of 750,000 because it was actually used in circulation. And on the back it just says the coat of arms. And then we have uh, this one from the 70s as well. So this coin has, uh, what date is it? 
It has uh, mm, Prudence sitting in the chair. So Prudentia is that one there, and she's sitting in a chair. And this coin has a mintage of. Uh, 485,000 and she has a diamond in her hand as well so this is a coin designed by Gordo Verdioli oh and the older coin I have with uh, this, these two issues the 5 and the 10 and here I have the 100 lira which is the highest denomination of the time and it's uh, Fides, Faith with a Cross so it actually looks like Jesus himself. And this one has a mintage of uh, 1.3 million, so quite a high mintage. I doubt that these coins are probably just issued in the Vatican. They probably would have been issued in other places in Rome. And I would say most likely. And they're also issued as collector's items and in uncirculated and proof sets. So. That's a quite an interesting series to get. I'm trying to get the rest of those, but they're actually harder to get than what people think. Okay, so have we looked at that? Ah, so here's the 1970 series, so it goes with uh, these ones. And this one is a dove. Its date is 1971. So it has a mintage of 966,000. So not bad. Then we have uh, these last two coins down here. So the one with the world map is 1985. So if I turn it over, uh, 1985, and this one should be 1981. Yeah. So this coin here is a mintage of 800,000. This one's 550,000. And here we have an angel offering fish to Christ. So Christ has the halo. And the halo represents Christ. And angels have the wings. And if you can see an R, that just means the Rome mint mark. So these are all minted in Rome. The Rome mint. And here's the world map. That probably represents Christianity around the world. And if we have a look at... Um, the 500, you can see here it has the Rome mint as well. So all these coins are minted in Rome. Same with the San Marino coins. They're also minted in Rome. But they are quite an interesting, like, myself, I'm not a Christian. I don't believe in uh, Christianity or anything like that. I find religion fascinating, even though I'm not religious. And these coins reflect all of Christianity and you can get other coins from different parts of the world that represent their religious beliefs as well like uh, coins from Cambodia and Cambodia uh, especially Saudi Arabia lots of other different places anyway I'd like to say thank you very much for watching my video um, leave a comment down below Telling me what you think about these coins because uh, Vatican coins are very interesting. Especially love the Papal States. Oh, I really like to collect those. And have an awesome coin collecting time. And see my links down below. Have an awesome day people. Bye bye.